How about now? Is that better? Awesome. Okay. How's the sound balance between uh, me talking and the uh, chill lo-fi beats? It's good? Okay. So, anyway, like I was saying that no, that no one heard. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, today uh, we had some technical difficulties, which, you know, just continue and continue. Uh, we are making a tub here instead of the murloc that I originally intended to make. Um, yeah, mainly because my camera would not pick up the green I was using. So anyway, the first, uh, the first link I sent is the link to the pattern for the tub here, in case anybody wants to follow along. Uh, the pattern is by Club Crochet, which are pretty much my favorite uh, crochet resource on the net. Uh, their patterns are very, very easy to follow. They've got really good step-by-step -step videos, and everything is really, really well uh, explained. So, yeah, they're just really, really great. They're actually the resource that I personally use to teach myself to crochet. So, yeah. Um, the second link that I sent is uh, some questions that whenever I'm doing like a boring section, like repeats or, you know, just something boring, uh, I'll do my best to answer some questions too. Because, you know, that's always fun, I guess. Just stops things from being as boring for everybody. <laughs> uh, and as always, if anybody has any questions that they'd like me to answer or try to answer, just feel free to shout it out in chat. I'm here. Uh, yeah. And with that, we're going to go ahead and get started. Oh man, look at that color balance. Isn't that great? Oh, it's so beautiful. So yeah, my camera is having a bit of a fit today. It just does not like me. Um, it's probably because there's no sunlight because it's been like raining for like a week. But anyway, the materials we're going to be using today are a crochet hook, specifically a G hook, my Japanese style shears, these are my really really nice scissors, they're very very sharp, and they're super fun because like you grab them like this, and you squeeze, it's really good for uh, yeah. Aw, thank you Arky! Uh, and of course, eventually we'll be using our yarn needle. And finally, we have two different kinds of stitch markers. So yeah. Uh, also, you'll notice that my VTuber is a little stiff today. And she's just like, crochet bones? No, they're not bones. <laughs> But anyway, you'll notice my VTuber is a little stiff today. Uh, it's because I only I only own one camera, so I can either use it to track my face or you know, show off my beans. So anyway, uh, we're gonna be starting with black yarn to make the ears. Yes, fingies. <laughs> Wow, okay, so we're going to be making two ears, and they are seemingly very, very easy. So what we're going to do is make a magic loop, which I've just done. I really need the camera closer. That'll work. A magic loop, and then we're going to single crochet six into the magic loop. So one, two, three four, five, and six. Now just a disclaimer, our finished project will not have eyes um, because I still have not bought Amigurumi eyes because I keep forgetting because I am the, the most brilliant scholar in the world. <laughs> um, so yeah. Okay, so 
Then it wants us to chain one, pull through, leaving a long tail for sewing to the head. So we'll probably leave probably about that much. And we have one little tuppy ear, which you can't really see because my background is purple. Cute. Okay, now we're gonna make the second one. Also another disclaimer, uh, just like all of the patterns that I do on stream, uh, I've never made this before. I make all the patterns for the first time uh, in front of you guys because uh, I'm a masochist, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this pattern is actually um, special. It's a special thing that Club Crochet has done. They are, I believe, partnering with the World Wildlife Federation uh, to, you know, help do good stuff. So if you purchase the PDF or the kit, because they actually sell full kits that come with the yarn and all the stuff that you need to make these projects if you want. Uh, it will benefit a really good cause. Um, and also, some exciting, exciting, exciting news. Uh, I am one away from 100 followers here on Twitch. So yeah, <laughs> that'd be, that's pretty dope, I think. Number 25, uh, do I have any tattoos? I do have a tattoo. Uh, I have one tattoo on the back of my neck. It's a, a Triskelion, a Celtic Triskelion, which is the symbol of growth and change. And uh, yeah, it's also used to mark where like fairies, uh, you know, reside and dwell and yeah uh, that's the only tattoo I have right now but I would like many more <laughs> one two three four five six seven okay so we're seven single crochet in the magic loop Excuse me while I struggle. Oh, I forgot to mention we are making the two front legs. Okay, so the next three rounds are going to be just single crocheting in each of the stitches. So I'm going to take my stitch marker and place it in the last round of this row so that I know where I started and where I end. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven. Yeah, I, I do know because I was there for that. <laughs> we talked about it extensively. If I had all the money in the world, uh, I would love to get a sleeve of like Japanese koi and water and uh, just like a whole big scene with that, just in like full color and just really vibrant and beautiful. But uh, you know, tattoos are expensive. Um, like semi watercolor? So, you know. OK, 
Okay, there's the first round. starting on the second round, I guess I'll just start, you know, answering questions. So, do I have any nicknames? Um, I mean, obviously my nickname is Lily Bean. <laughs> uh, but you know, I also get called like, hey, don't bite me. And, um, you know, small, people like to call me small, even though I'm very, very tall. Um, you know. But yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if you're gonna stream, like, IRL stuff, you definitely either have to be like very close in, like here you can only see my hands. Or you just have to be completely okay with everybody knowing who you are. That being said, uh, I would at some point like to get a World of Warcraft tattoo, but I'm not sure what I want. dope. I, I'm also considering like, um, the demon hunter crest or something because I mean demon hunter. Also, I'm gonna turn down the lo-fi just a little bit because it's a little loud for me in my ears. Swap back to my Okay. So I actually finished the mostly finished the first leg. We're going to oops, I caught the other end. Slip stitch and cut it off. Pull it through. Yeah, of course you did! I don't know, I just feel such like a kindred spirit with demon hunters. It's just... I don't know, it just feels like a, a, the right thing for me. If you call me a fucking edgelord, I, I don't care. Whatever. Whatever, Dark Knight, or Death Knight. Yeah, uh-huh, Death Knight. Doesn't matter. You still have a fairly prominent Death Knight character. Death Knight character. Okay, and I just inserted a little bit of stuffing in there. And yeah. So we have one little leggy being done. Yeah, but the, t the ones that you play most often are your hunter and your death knight, and then, you know, whatever whatever we play together. I am eventually going to re-up my sub because like, oh man, my heart misses Azeroth so much. Okay, so we're moving on to the second front leg. So we're gonna do seven single crochets in the magic loop. Okay. I need to get like a neutral colored background, like gray or something, you know? Uh, 
I mean, I'm not. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I'm getting homesick. Because, I don't know, Azeroth just... It means so much to me. World of Warcraft was there for me when I really needed an escape. When I really needed something that, uh, something good in my life. And don't say, oh, you know, you were there too, because you're not a thing. You are a person, and you're a very good person, and I love you. But Azeroth was a thing to help me just escape from the shittiness that was my real life. You're not a thing! <laughs> okay, so... Three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, okay, so, yeah. Uh, the next question is, when is my birthday? Um... I, I really haven't assigned my VTuber a birthday. Three... My birthday, like, my person birthday is in November, though. It's, uh, November 7th, actually. So... It's, uh, just about six months away. So yeah. You know, if you uh if anybody watching wants to get me presents, uh yeah. You got six months to decide. <laughs> do my best I just I have this weird aversion to like making wish lists and gifts and you know that kind of stuff But yeah. Yeah, I know. Well, okay, so like it's not that I hate gifts, I just it makes me really uncomfortable accepting gifts. <laughs> okay. Four, five, six, seven, okay. So now we're on the second repeat. I mean, you don't. You could just like keep it or or mail it back to Amazon, or like give it to one of your real life friends that you don't have to spend so much on shipping. Two. Blech. This is the final round of repeat for this little leggy, little leg bean. For the probably zero people that actually care, um, I am doing this in the non-joined spiral rounds method, or also known as the Amigurumi method. 
Yeah, I have no idea what to call my community, and I should probably decide on that pretty soon because there are 99 of you out there now. 99 of you people follow me. You are insane and incredible and amazing. I do think I'm going to call my channel Points Beans, though, because, you know. But yeah, uh, I've just been calling everybody friends because, I mean, you know, that's what we are. Yeah, my next, like, day off that I take from streaming, I'm going to uh, mess with, like, the channel point stuff and a jelly bean. That'd be pretty cute. I could just, like, have different kinds of beans. Just have, like, a lima bean and, like, a, a baked bean and... I don't know. No, that would be that would be a little too silly. Probably do jelly beans, like, different colors and stuff. Excuse me a moment. My leg itches. <laughs> Excuse me while I just stop what I'm doing and lose an arm. But, yeah. Jelly beans would be cute. Uh, but, yeah. Okay, so, so far we have... Two front leggies and two ears for our little Tapir. I hope I'm saying that right, Tapir. I've heard it said Tapir. I've heard it said Taper. I've also heard it said Tapir. So I have no idea what's actually correct. <laughs> okay, so. Um, I'm actually going to take my little. Uh, stitch marker and I'm going to clip my two front legs together because the back legs are going to look exactly the same but just be slightly different size and I don't want to get them confused so I'm just going to use this little hook to clip these two little legs together there we go I got a little you know little paw bean tape here yeah I've, I've, I just I hear people say so many things <laughs> okay so next up we are making the back legs And the first step is, once again, the magic loop. That's pretty much the start of, like, most Amigurumi things. Oh, yeah? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Well, that's adorable. I can just imagine, you know, little baby Ark seeing all the little animals. <laughs> little tiny Ark bean. Uh, the smallest bean. <laughs> okay, so rounds two and three are just uh, repeats. So we're just going to do eight single crochets.
that sounds like a fun time. That sounds like a, a good time. I feel like, are you really a kid if you've never gone to a, an amusement area and like beaten someone with an inflatable something? I feel like that's such a universal but weird experience. Like, I totally, totally beat the shit out of my siblings with inflatable, you know, like toys when we went to fairs or... <laughs> well... Yeah, because high school kids are so fucking responsible. Excuse me, just doing sippies. No. Yeah, good times, good times. Okay, so that should be one, two, three. So that's our whole back leg. He's just gonna have little stumpy beans. I mean, it sounds like good times. It sounds like fun. Oh, I totally missed that one message <laughs> about drawing blood. <laughs> So anyway, uh, I think we're on question three. What is my sexuality? Well, uh, I've answered this before on stream, but you know, the questions kind of tend to repeat. Um, I'm pansexual, and that just kind of means that I have the capacity to be attracted to people of any gender. Um, however, <coughs> I've also found that I'm, I believe I'm also semi-demisexual, which means that I'm generally only pe only attracted to people that I also have a connection to. Or, you know, if I'm in a relationship, I tend to almost exclusively be attracted to my partner or, you know, people that I'm very, very close with. So, <laughs> sexuality is, yes, if I like you. <laughs> I don't know, it's a hard thing to explain. If you want to hear something really wild... What is my spirit animal? I don't know, probably just like a fucking possum. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably a possum. I love possums. Cause like, you know, eat trash, scream. Yeah. A possum or a raccoon. Cause raccoons also like eat trash and scream. Henry Cavill is not an animal. Henry, Henry Cavill is, is a... I don't know what you'd call Henry Cavill. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I guess I'd call him daddy, but you know. <laughs> Specimen? Yeah, right? Fuck. He's just so pretty. Six. 
seven and eight. Dude, I'm pretty sure everyone has a crush on him regardless of sexuality. Did you see he's on t he's on TikTok and he fucking reads the Witcher books? That's right. That you sent me those videos and um I blame you. But yeah. Yeah, uh for anyone who enjoys Henry Cavill or the Witcher series or anything like that, he's on TikTok and he reads the Witcher books and oh man, it's so good. It's so good. But then again, he could read the fucking dictionary or like an encyclopedia or a cookbook and I'd listen to it cuz he's just got he's just got such a nice voice and he's just yeah. Very attractive human. Six, seven, that uh that kind of reminds me of this video I watched a while ago. Uh, it was a YouTuber. Uh, I want to say it was probably Jarvis Johnson. I watch a lot of his videos. Um, but he was talking about a show. Wait, or maybe it was Danny Gonzalez. I, I don't remember who the fuck it was. But yeah, they were watching a show. And it's an old, old, old MTV show. I can't remember what the fuck it was called. But basically, the the person who's the object of the show, or I guess the subject of the show, really, um, has, like, a huge boner. No, not cribs. Uh, anyway, the person has, like, a huge boner for a specific celebrity. So, people of the celebrity's gender, like, you know, in the case of the video I was watching, uh, they were doing Pink, that singer. Um, but anyway, people of the same gender as the celebrity would, like, dress up and try to compete for this person's affection to become their very own version of X, Y, or Z celebrity. And it was the weirdest fucking thing I have ever seen. They were, like, memorizing facts about this celebrity's life and, like, being able to <laughs> recite the ad nauseum and just... Dude, it was so fucking weird. Yeah, I hate it too. Okay, so the next thing we're moving on to is the Tungu. <laughs> tungu. So I have this really cute pink yarn. Very fun. Kind of matches my, uh, my layout. It is incredibly pink. So, step one, we're going to make a slip knot, just a little, not the band, just the, you know, the thing. And then we're going to chain three. Okay. Also, I don't know why I'm starting to read you guys the directions now. No, actually, you know, this is not as violently pink as it looks. Like, I know it probably looks pretty close to my nails. But this is actually like kind of a dark, like kind of dusty pink. It's a really good color for the tongue though. But yeah, my nails are violently pink. I have no knowledge of almost anything they've ever done ever. <laughs> Okay, so we are going to half double crochet in the third chain here. And that's it. That's our tiny little tongue. There's literally just uh, like two steps. Dude, everybody's getting into NFTs, which is hilarious because didn't the NFT market just like crash or something? I know crypto's crashing, which is, you know, amazing. By the way, I am 100% anti-NFTs, anti-crypto. If you ever see any NFTs or crypto uh, adverts or, 
you know, anything that would imply that I've done anything with those things, just fucking let me know because I would be very, very upset about that. I am completely against those things. They're so bad for the environment. They're just, they're bad for everything. But anyway, back to normal, normal, normal chat. Uh, yeah, here's a tiny little tongue. Teeny, tiny little... Blah, blah, blah. I'm just gonna set that aside. Okay. Wow, I'm really, really going along <laughs> quickly with this. Yes, yes. NFT bots, crypto bots. Uh, bots in general usually get banned in my chat because, yeah, they're just not helpful. Okay, so we are starting on the body now, which is the final piece of the uh, tip here. And we're starting in black. As you can s probably see, maybe see, I don't know, maybe. I swear to God, I need like tape or something or just like a big sign that says like, Lily, put your arms here. I'm sure I'll get used to it. But I'm pretty sure I also say that every fucking stream. <laughs> uh, by the way, the time estimate estimate for completion of this project is only about an hour and a half, so not bad. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, a little X on my mat, yeah. <laughs> right, like, Lily, you dumbass, put your arm here, something like that. Okay, so we're gonna single crochet six into this loop. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Okay. Stick our little stitch marker in the first uh, first stitch there. But yeah, I'd like to get maybe some like gray felt or maybe even like a vibrant color like blue or teal or green or something just to kind of differentiate between what I'm doing and you know the colors of the yarn because yeah dude you need to stop consuming so much caffeine okay so for round two we are going to increase in each stitch so that brings us up from six stitches to twelve Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That sounds like it would be uh, quite an experience. I've actually never done airsoft, but I've always wanted to. Oh man. Stretching my fingies out. Uh, so yeah, uh, zodiac sign. My zodiac sign is Scorpio. Yeah, pistol life is fun. It looks fun anyway. Um, but yeah, question number four, zodiac sign. Uh, I'm a Scorpio, so, you know, just, you know, yeah, just gonna stab you with the, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know 
a lot of people put a lot of like faith into zodiac things and uh you know that's always really interesting to me yes eye color is pink obviously hair color is white gradient to a uh, light lavender pulling off more yarn because me like an idiot pulled this uh, yarn from around the center instead of from the like inside excuse me so it just kind of rolls around unless I unroll it manually it's very annoying okay so the next step is to single crochet one and then increase one uh, so we're gonna get up to 18 If you're not familiar with club crochet's patterns, they almost always uh, bring their amigurumi project up to 18 stitches as a base before they start the like straight rounds. Um, but this time, they're actually bringing it up to 24, so this is going to be a little bit more of a chunky bean than their normal amigurumi. What is my favorite anime? My god. I have no idea. I there are so many really really good anime that uh yeah. Um hmm. I want to say Cowboy Bebop just because it's it's just it's so good. Um hmm. Cowboy Bebop is amazing. Uh, obviously I like Host Club because it's just it's fun and stupid. Um, yeah. Dude, the soundtrack to Bebop is chef's kiss. It's next level. It's so fucking good. Ugh. Oh my god. The fucking heavy metal queen episode where it's just all Japanese heavy metal. And just, mm. Perfect. Tank! Tank is the fucking best. And the real folk blues, of course. And just, there's just so many good songs in uh, Bebop. Yeah. Alright, uh, so anyway, like I was saying, we're going to bring this up to 24 stitches by doing two single crochets. And then an increase. And do that all the way around. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Also, does anybody in chat have any anime recommendations for me? Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, 
52. Uh, I'm still trying to finish, uh, fuck, what's the, what's the English title? Uh, I believe in, Jap in Japanese it's Biskodor, which is Biskdol. Uh, shit. Uh, my, my dress up, darling? I can't remember, but yeah, that's uh, that's the one that I'm watching right now. So yeah, yeah, my dress up doll, darling. Uh, in Japanese, it's biskodor because it's you know, bisk doll, and yeah, like porcelain doll. I haven't read the uh, the mango. I really need to. I just need to scroll down. Okay, so now we're going to just do uh, 24 stitches three times. So what is my favorite color? Uh, my favorite color is green. I love green. Which I'm sure if you're watching this, <clears throat> and you don't already know that, uh, it probably comes as a shock to you because I don't use a lot of green in like... Yeah, no, I would never, I would never, uh, consume Goblin Slayer. But yeah, anyway, uh, my favorite color is green, uh, which may shock people because I don't use a lot of green in like my models or my projects or, you know, there's not a lot of green in my like layouts or anything like that, but it is my favorite color in the whole wide world. Second would have to be a tie for like pastel pink, or not pastel pink, but like, you know, shades of pink and shades of purple. So yeah, green. Green's my favorite color. And the funny thing is, um, people tend to change their favorite color over time. You know, because they develop and grow and change as a person. Uh, but my favorite color has always been green. Ever since I was little. Um, as far back as I can remember and as far back as my family remembers, it's always been green. And going along with that, I really love looking at nature. Like, I... <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna sound so stupid, but like I don't really like being outside because I'm scared of bugs and I'm allergic to everything But I love looking at trees and examining leaves and you know Grass and flowers and stuff and all of that is green Green's a very important color and in fact uh, Chartreuse which is a shade of yellow green uh, it's the most co visible color in the color spectrum, and that's why it's used for, like, safety gear. It's that, like, really, really bright, vibrant, like, yellowy green that you see on fire trucks, and... Like I said, safety gear, and, uh... Yeah, sometimes road cones are chartreuse. But yeah, it's a, green is a very important color in the universe. Or at least in our part of the universe, anyway. <laughs> Our little slice of, uh, slice of sky cake. <laughs> but yeah, I love green. Oh yes, the next question is, uh, it just says crush, question mark? Um, you know, I really don't care for, like, crushing things because, uh, well, you know, my hands hurt a lot because I've got carpal tunnel and, and... A, a degenerative uh, joint and muscle disease. So, you know, I don't really like crushing things, but, uh, you know, if, if, uh, if I need to, I can. I suppose I could use, like, my foot or a shoe or something. Um, but, you know. <laughs> that's, that's what that question means, right? It's so vague and confusing.
What are you talking about? I would never crush you. That would be like... That would be really weird, because like, you're so big and my hands are so small. Okay, so this is the last repeat of our black. No, my hands are small. Just because I'm big doesn't mean that my hands are also big. My hands may look big on stream, but uh, I wear a size small gloves, or I can also wear like kids' gloves. Um, because, you know, while I am very, very tall and very large in person, uh, my hands are, are very small. My feet are also strangely small, you know, for, for such a tall person. You know, such a large, tall person. I'm, I'm very strange looking, you know? Large almost everywhere except, uh, you know, my hands and feet. My hands and my beans. <gasps> beans. <laughs> So, anywho, on the last stitch of this row, we're going to change to white. Well, not white, I'm going to change to a kind of like tannish cream. Yeah, like reverse Betty spaghetti, I guess. Also, the next question is, what is my relationship status? Um, I have a partner, and we've been together for, it will be 11 years in July. And yeah. So, you know, I'm single. Yeah, just kidding. <laughs> um, he's actually been on stream with me a couple of times. Uh, you know, it's Ark. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's it's totally Ark. <laughs> no, JK, JK. Also, I was being so silly, I forgot that I was going to change colors. But you know, uh, I have a partner. His name is Fluffy, and I've mentioned him, like, <sighs> I don't know, like, almost in every stream. So, to change colors, we're going to do what is called an invisible join, or an invisible color change, something like that. Basically, what you do is you start the next stitch, so you, you know, put the needle through, yarn over, and draw the loop, and then you take your new color, you slip it over your crochet hook, instead of yarning over and then you finish and now what I like to do is before I go any further I like to tie the two colors together just so it doesn't slip apart while I'm working with it and then don't forget stitch marker I'm really glad to hear that I think it's the lo-fi because it's definitely not the fucking gremlin energy that I put out, because... Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so... Okay, so the next five rows, we're going to just be repeats, but in a different color. So do I have any BFFs on Twitter? Um, I have a BFF, but I guess we're BFFs on Twitter. Are, are you my BFF on Twitter, Ark? Yay. I do have several best friends. Uh, although, Yeah, Cat's pretty cool. I, I love Cat. 
But yeah, I have several best friends. Um, but yeah. Are we... I mean, we're both members of the Let's Steal Arcs Jacket Club. I actually accidentally stole a hoodie from a guy one time. I know you're probably thinking, Lily, how do you accidentally steal a hoodie? Well... He was kind of a dickhead, and he broke up with me and told me that he didn't want any of his stuff back. And then a week later, he was like, oh, by the way, can I have my hoodie back? And I was like, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. That hoodie, I don't, I, you, you must have left it somewhere. Because he, he accidentally left it at my house, and uh, yeah. So, kind of accidentally stole his hoodie. I guess it was kind of an accident, but, you know. Anyway... Three... Four... Five... Six... Seven... Eight... Nine... Ow... Ten... Eleven... Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Okay, there's row two out of five. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and take a break for a moment and run a commercial because I've been going for about uh, about an hour. That sucks, Arky. So if you're watching and you're a subscriber, uh, you won't see a commercial. But if you're not subscribed, then you'll hopefully see a short 30 second commercial. So. While the commercial's going, I'm gonna go ahead and just kinda, yeah, vibe with you guys and just kinda rub my hands a little bit. Oh, yeah? Well, then how? How? <laughs> How did they steal your hoodie before you knew each other? Oh, before you and I knew each other. Yeah, I kind of figured. I was like, that's, that's confusing. <laughs> Alright, the commercial should be over. So I'm going to go ahead and get back to it. Oh, so that's pretty crazy because we've known each other for a really long time. I 
love heather gray as a color. It's just so lovely. Oh, that sounds like it would be cute on you. So, the next question is talent? Question mark? Um, I don't really know how to answer that because I... Oh yeah? Nice. Yeah. I prefer over the head hoodies uh, versus zipper hoodies, honestly. There's one that I would really, really like to get my hands on, but I know I'll never have. Um, but uh, it's just, uh, you know, it's a corpse hoodie because I'm a huge cor corpse simp. All of my hoodies kind of suck. They're all really boring. Uh, but yeah, uh, like I was saying, the next question is talent question mark? Which one is it? Uh, there's only one corpse hoodie out there. It's black, and it's got a red and black and white design on it. And it says, like, corpse and... Uh, dude, they were sold out within, like, seconds of him posting the fucking link for his store. But, uh, there's someone selling one? Semi-local to me? Excuse me. Hang on. I am so sorry, guys. <laughs> I forgot to let my partner know that I was streaming, and he usually calls me when he's got downtime at work, because his job is a, like, it's not a constant thing. So often he'll have time to just, like, sit for a few minutes, and he usually calls me. But yeah, uh, yeah, my ringtone is corpse. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, uh, the corpse hoodie is sold out, like, instantly, but there's, there's someone that's selling one, like, semi-nearby to me, and I'm just like, Ugh, so tempted, so tempted. Um, but yeah. It's so good. It's such a good hoodie. It looks so comfy. But yes, uh, my ringtone is also corpse. <laughs> because once again, uh, you know, massive corpse simp. Not really simp, just a fan. I would just really like to, like, hang out with him and, like, give him a hug. Because he always seems like he's going through a lot, and... Yeah, and he seems like he's got a really lovely personality. And he seems like he'd be a really nice person. And also, we uh, we both have uh, fun chronic diseases that uh, involve our like stomachy areas. So talent, uh, yeah. Well, personally, I don't believe that I'm talented at anything, but I don't know many art kids that think that they're talented. So I'm just gonna go with uh, 
the things that I've been told I'm talented at. Um, I'm a, I'm a fairly decent archer. <laughs> fairly decent, quote unquote. Um, I'm a classically tra trained singer. I've done like solo festivals and things like that and competitions. Um, and I mean, I can crochet just like a little bit. Just a little bit, though. <laughs> that is bullshit, my dude. We are talented at different things, but that doesn't make me more talented than you. Um, I'm also really, really talented at uh, avoiding uh, difficult questions and confrontation. I'm really, really talented at like changing the subject. As you guys probably just saw. <laughs> Let me just double check my round count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yes, I'm also very talented at squishing plushies. See? Squish, squish, squish. <laughs> yeah, no, you're you're awful at keeping me on topic. You're not good at that. <laughs> also, hey, Jarehart! It's great to see you. Thanks for joining us. Two. Three. Okay, so now we've got five rounds of black. You're probably better than me at a lot of things, dude. A lot of things. Like, many, 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 many things. Oops, hello. I was trying to go under my mat. Also guys, I am so sorry for the lighting weirdness. Yeah, he's really good at being from England. Like, top tier. What are your talents, huh? I, I'm definitely less good at being from England. Also, here's our little bean so far. I am 0% from England, so. Yeah, you're definitely better than me at fighting. I just cry. I missed a stitch somewhere. Yeah, you're probably better than me at that too. <laughs> but 
but what <coughs> excuse me what things do you consider yourself talented at arc and everybody else in chat what are your talents Also, I had to start this round over because I missed this first stitch right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. You are indeed very quick-witted. Also, I know something about both of you. You are both really good artists. Different types of art, obviously. Um, but you're both very talented artists because haha, -ha, I know you both <laughs> Yeah, you are Both you and Chairheart are artists Both very talented artists in fact I believe someone just knocked on my door, but they're kind of shit out of luck because I'm busy. Oh no, it's just my neighbor's dogs barking. The sounds sound kind of similar when I've got uh, my headset on, because my headset has a fairly, uh, fairly tight fit, so it cancels out a lot of noise. So. Some sounds sound, uh, very, very similar. But yeah. Oops. I love the little stripe on our bean. So cute. So cute. Such an adorable little stripey bean. Also, you know, maybe it's my fucking pale ass skin throwing off the white balance here. Because I am incredibly pale. Yeah, uh, number 13, which, by the way, happy Friday the 13th, everyone. You definitely can tan better than me. Yes, that is 100% true. You definitely do. In fact, I don't think I've ever met anyone that can't tan better than me. <laughs> I do not tan at all. But yeah, uh, like I was saying, happy Friday the 13th, everybody. Uh, usually for me, Friday the 13th is a really good day. Um, but today it's been kind of shitty. But, uh, you know, now I'm here with you guys. And now it's a good day again. So yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah, uh, anyway, the next question is phobia, question mark? 
I am scared of so many things. Like, holy shit. I am scared of so many things. And yet, I'm scared of some... Or I'm not scared of some things that you would... Like, a lot of people are scared of. Like, I'm not particularly scared of spiders or snakes. Or, like, lizards or frogs. I actually think... I actually think those things are adorable. Um... But then I am scared of, like, weird shit. Like, I'm scared of butterflies. And... Um... I'm terrified of being abandoned or forgotten. And, uh... Yeah, uh, bugs that have too many legs. I'm scared of bugs. Uh, I'm scared of the dark. Yeah, claustrophobia is a huge one for me, too. I, oh, man, I'm so, <laughs> I'm so claustrophobic. <laughs> yeah, being stuck is no fun. Um, one thing, uh, I'm probably outing myself here, but... Uh, I go to furry conventions sometimes because, well, I'm a furry. And... Yeah, pretty much. I could pretty much make a shorter list of things I'm not afraid of. <laughs> I'm not afraid of spiders. I'm not afraid of, like, dogs or cats or... But yeah, no, anyway, um... Yeah, so at furry conventions, one thing that is incredibly common is that the elevators break. Uh, because they get so much use in such a short amount of time. I like big dogs sometimes. Uh, but yeah, so, uh, thankfully, I've never had that happen. But I'm pretty sure if I ever had that happen and, like, got stuck in an elevator. Because that, that literally happens every single convention. Um, but yeah, if that, ever ha if that ever happened to me, I'm pretty sure I would just perish right there on the spot. Um, there's one that I go to, and the elevator is partially made out of glass. Uh, which, you know, I've got mixed feelings about, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure I would be, like, through that glass faster than the people could come fix the fucking elevator if I ever got stuck at that particular convention. But yeah, sometimes I like big dogs. Um, if they don't bite... Because I have, I have definitely been bitten by more big dogs than I've been bitten by small dogs. But, uh, yeah. My downstairs neighbor actually has three big dogs. And they are the cutest fucking dogs. Um, but they're naughty. They are naughty, naughty dogs. Oops, we screwed this back in the thing. But yeah, they're cute but naughty. Excuse me. I mean, no, oh, that's right. I forgot that your cat got dental surgery. Nope, he can't do the nom noms. <laughs> Poor baby. I just want to pick him up, hold him like a borker, and give him hugs. <laughs> Poor baby. But yeah. I'm scared of so many things. Okay, and that is the last round of repeats with the black. We're actually almost done with the body. We got a little bean shape here. All right, honey, have a great time. Have a great time playing game. I will talk to you later. Thanks for hanging out. Bye. Wavy, wavy. <gasps> Aww. Big yawn, no bites. <laughs> OK. 
Okay, so... Okay, so this round has fairly complex instructions. So I'm probably going to be pretty quiet. So... The first instruction is to do three invisible decreases. So there's one... and three uh, and for the literally zero people of you that actually care uh, and an invisible decrease is where you do a regular decrease but you go through the front loop only instead of both loops um, and a decrease is basically just where you uh, cinch two stitches together, basically. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. more invisible decreases. Looking pretty beanie. I'm just waiting for my camera to refocus. Come on. Come on, you piece of shit. Such a struggle. Why are you being an actual struggle bus today, camera? Okay. So anyway, the next question is... Allergies, and you know what? That is as long of a list as my fucking phobias, because I am allergic to uh, basically everything. Uh, I'm allergic to most animals. Um, yo, seventeen point seven thousand. Nice job saving them up. You gonna spend them on something fun? Don't spend them all in one place. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'm allergic to most animals, uh, most insects. I'm assuming spider bites, although I've never gotten bitten by a spider. Um, aloe vera, most plants, grass, dust. Jay, thank you for the bits. Thank you so much. But yeah, <laughs> the list of allergies. Oh yeah, and I've recently uh, acquired some super fun food-based allergies. So uh, that's been fun, trying to figure out exactly what I'm allergic to. Um, yeah, it's been, been a great time. But yeah, I'm allergic to a lot of things, but yeah. Favorite animal? Um, my favorite animal is the okapi. It has always been the okapi, and uh, yeah. I also really, really love possums, and animals that are different and unique. Um, yeah. Of course I love, like, corgis and foxes, specifically fennec foxes, too. Um, 
Nokopi, and my favorite animal is Nokopi. If you've never seen a Nokopi, um, it kind of looks like God just kind of made a, a horse and then sneezed at the color palette. Because it's like part zebra, part horse, but it also kind of looks like it could be part donkey. And it's got this weird like tongue. I think someone said it's got a giraffe tongue. So um, that's a thing. And uh, yeah, Okapis, they're just, they're really cute and they're really like derpy and like silly and goofy. And of course, like I said, second place would definitely be uh, possums. I love possums. They are precious trash babies and they're very, very important for the environment and even for humans. Um, people look at possums and they think, oh man, you look so, so dirty and like gross and uh, oh, you eat trash, but actually they're incredibly clean and apparently they make very good pets. They're very loving and, excuse me while I just snip this off. And um, yeah, they actually can almost never get rabies because of their body temperatures. And they eat millions of ticks per year, helping stop the spread of uh, Lyme disease and other, you know, diseases that ticks and, and buggies like that spread. I don't know why I went on a tangent about possums. Um, it just kind of happened. <laughs> Um, favorite flower. Uh, my favorite flower uh, is the dandelion. I love dandelions. They're beautiful. Uh, everyone considers them a weed, but did you know that every single part of the dandelion plant is edible and really good for you? And I just, they're so sunny and bright and lovely. And yeah, I need to stuff this a little bit more. Just a little bit though. There we go. Okay, so now we are going to bring this down to 12 stitches. Yeah, I will once I'm um, like done done, but it's actually, it's pretty, it's pretty well stuffed and squishable. It's good. Uh, anyway, we're going to bring this down to 12 stitches by doing one single crochet and then one invisible decrease. Also, crochet is one of those things that looks incredibly difficult and complex. At least, it always looked that to me. Um, but once you figure out like a few basic things about it, it's actually pretty easy. Now, that's not to say that I'm like a master or an expert or anything like that, but um, yeah. When I first started, I, I thought it was like an insurmountable thing, but yeah, I just kind of stuck with it. And now I can just kind of do it without even thinking. Like when I first started, oh my God, I basically had to be in a room by myself with total silence to, to crochet because I couldn't, I couldn't keep track of like anything. And, uh, wait, what did I just do? That's not right. Um, but yeah, um, so I couldn't, I couldn't keep track of anything. Uh, like count, and like I couldn't differentiate between the stitches and like the rows. But now I can just kind of like start a project and pfft, 
can walk away from it. People can talk to me. I can, you know, I can live stream <laughs> and answer questions while I'm street while I'm crocheting. <laughs> but yeah, anybody who's thinking of learning crochet, do it. Check out uh, Club Crochet. Their videos and tutorials are amazing. Also, not sponsored, not affiliated. I just really love them. They're just really great. <laughs> Um, so the next question is dream career and that's kind of a tough question for me because I don't know I really don't know what I want to be when I grow up <laughs> um, if you had asked me back in high school what I wanted to be I had you know, a very, a uh, very concrete answer, but then, then I didn't have a concrete answer anymore because, you know, dreams change and, uh, yeah. If I had no limitations as far as money, or time, or location, um, my dream career would be a uh, biochemical engineer or biochemist. What's my favorite kind of train engine? Um, honestly, I think the, like, Japanese, uh, bullet trains, the, they're, I think they're electric engines, they are really, really fucking cool. Uh, they're probably my favorite type of train engine or do you mean like like the engine is in the car of the train because that I don't really know enough about trains to to have a favorite <laughs> wrong answer oh no well what's the correct answer there Gerhardt And there's two more repeats of this round. Also, I hope it's not too immersion breaking for me to have, you know, my hands on screen, but my VTube are in frame too. Hopefully it's not too immersion breaking. <laughs> Since there's uh, basically nobody here, I can kind of, you know, give you guys a little bit of a uh, secret, secret information. Uh, yeah, maybe soon you'll be able to see my VTuber model actually doing stuff. Oh, I know, right? It's it's crazy. Uh... <laughs> um, but yeah, maybe soon uh, there might be a way to see my VTuber model uh, moving their hands around. Ha ha ha! Secret. Hello, hello. Thanks for joining us, uh, Kyo Kyoko. Thanks for joining us. Ah! Gerhardt, thanks for the gifted sub. You are so fucking kind. Thank you. I try to uh, paint my nails fun for my crochet streams. Okay, so 
So, I know it's hard to see against the purple background, but we are starting to form the like nose, mouth, head area of the tip here. So yeah, our little bean is really coming along. I'll add a little more stuffing <coughs> and then continue on to the next round. How are you doing today, Kyoko? And uh, happy Friday the 13th. Bump the camera. Love it. Love when that happens. I just realized that means that means let me just double check something I oh, mean man hasn't uh as an updated okay anyway okay so we're gonna do invisible decreases and in all the stitches bringing it down to six So, Jerhart, what is the correct answer to favorite kind of train engine? So, yeah, our little guy is uh, just about done. Okay, I'm gonna leave some tail, but not a huge one. Snip that off. And slip stitch. Gonna add a little bit of stuffing to the nose area. Oops. Come on, get in there. That's not working at all. Just 
just a little bit more. Very cute, very, very cute. Okay, so we're going to take our darning needle and just, you know, this needle is completely blunt. There's no sharp edge at all. It's just for yarn and uh, projects like that. So, yeah. And we're going to thread it through of these stitches in the nose, similar to like lacing up a drawstring bag. And then once we have all of them stitched together, come on. My lighting sucks. There we go. And we're just gonna draw it together. Oh yeah? And why is that the correct answer? Oops. Oh yeah? Well, good to know. I'll have to look it up. I can't look at that right this moment, but I will. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is take this excess yarn and just kind of feed it through the body a few times in fairly random spots. We're not trying to do any like shaping or anything. We're just, you know, hiding the end. And basically what that entails is putting it through, pulling it out, and then putting it through in the same spot and pulling it out somewhere else. Until the yarn gets so small that we can't do that anymore. And then we just kind of take the yarn needle and just kind of poke it in. There we go. So now we have the uh, body of our little tape here. Tape here. I think this is the bottom. Looks like it. So the first step is to attach the ears, which we made previously. They are right here. They're little, little half circles. I just set my yarn needle down. Where did it go? Ah, oh, there it went. Okay, so we want to add the ears between rounds 13 and 14 above the eyes, which I don't have, but one, two, three, two, three, four, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so we're going to stitch them on somewhere in this vicinity. Which makes sense. Uh, sort of. There you go. This vicinity. Let me just double check photos. Okay, yeah, that looks about right. Sorry you can't see much of this process, chat. Um, my hands kind of have to be in the way, unfortunately. And also, I'm just not very good at sewing on uh, body parts. That's how I make a roomies, anyway. So I'm not super, super concerned with the ears being like super secure. Um, I don't have any kids and no children are, are going to play with this toy. It's just going to be me. So if the pieces are a little bit wobbly, um, that's just fine. <laughs> it's fine with me. That being said, I am going to do my best to attach them securely so that my toy lasts a very long time. So the next question on the list, I think we're up to, what do I find attractive in other people? Um, and that's also kind of a hard question to answer because um, unless I know someone, it's, uh, it's kind of hard for me to find them attractive. So I would say personality, a really good personality is pretty much the most important thing to me. Um, also a really good butt, because, uh, I love touching butts. Touching butts is awesome. So yeah, good personality, good butt. Very important things to me. Also, the next question is favorite K-drama, but I've never watched any K-dramas. Um, so yeah, uh, I think the only J-drama I've ever watched, although it was an adaptation of a manga, was uh, Kimi wa Petto which is also called You Are My Pet, or the American title, which, oh man, the, the, the American title got done dirty. <laughs> the American title is Tramps Like Us, and oh boy, that is, that is not a good title. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that was a J-drama that I watched that I really enjoyed. Uh, where's your other ear, Toppy? There you are. 
Yeah, I've never seen any K-dramas, so... Nationality. So I am uh, Italian and Irish and I believe some Polish as well, uh, but primarily Italian and Irish. My grandparents on my father's side came from Sicily. So I suppose Sicilian, not Italian, but you know. And, uh, Irish, yeah. Six to seven stitches apart. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that looks about right. Oh my god, that's so cute. It's gonna be so cute and so derpy. <laughs> so weird. They're just such weird little guys. Uh, top ears, I mean. Tip ears. Random fact about me, um, I'm ambidextrous, that's a pretty random fact about me, um, I'm learning to play the ocarina, that's also another random fact, because the first one wasn't really random, I, I've mentioned it before, but yeah, I'm learning to play the ocarina, so that's... That's pretty random. Like, who just wakes up one day and says, uh, yeah, I'm gonna learn to play the ocarina. <laughs> also, I'm sorry that I'm, uh, blasting through these questions. Uh, I really didn't answer many of them during the first part of the stream, so now I'm trying to make up for it. Especially because the, uh, assembly process is, uh, it's kind of boring to watch, honestly. <laughs> honestly. So, you know. Uh, what manga am I reading right now? Um, I'm not actually reading any manga right now. I want to read the, uh, Biscodoru, uh, manga. Uh, my dress up, darling. Uh, so I'll probably start reading that. <sighs> Shit, I might even start it tonight. Why not? There we go. Little Toppy has ears. I also feel like Club Crochet's projects are kind of the perfect length for a stream because they're not super long, they're not super complex. Um, some of them have a lot of parts and, uh, you know, some, some level of difficulty to them, but they're definitely not the most difficult patterns I've ever worked with and I, I don't mean that in a derogatory way in fact it's quite quite a good thing also our top here is looking very cute look at them ears I love them also I have my window open not my window but like my curtains open um because I was trying to get some of the daylight in while it was still light out and there was just like a guy standing across the street just like staring at me <laughs> And because my chat is, uh, 
is, you know, it's in the same direction as my window. It kind of looked like I was staring back at it <laughs> the longest time and just like talking to myself while staring at the sky. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> that was interesting. He did, he took off a little while ago, but yeah, <laughs> that was, that was fun. <laughs> but anyway, uh, the next next one is we're gonna sew on the front legs now if you remember I cleverly clipped the front legs together earlier using a cute little stitch marker on my little beans little bean markers little orange bean marker if the camera will ever fucking cooperate with me So it says to put them under the eyes, but once again, we don't have eyes, so I'm just going to go ahead and put them, like, probably, like, right here, I think. Let's see. Let's see how that looks. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. This lo-fi music is just, it's so nice. And by the way, in case anyone's wondering, this is completely copyright and DMCA free lo-fi music uh, designed for streamers. And I think that is incredibly kind. It's from a channel on YouTube called The Relaxed Movement. And yeah, incredibly fucking kind of them kind of them, and uh, super appreciated. Oh, come on. Pick up that leg stitch. Oh, you know what? I think these are all forward too far. Yeah, these are definitely forward too far. Well, that's okay. It's really hard to tell when uh, the landmark that they use is one that I don't have. But that's okay. It only takes a moment to... Uh, yeah. It only takes a moment to fix. So the next question is piercings, question mark? Um, yeah, I have several piercings, actually. <laughs> it may shock you to find out that I have many, many holes in my body. Well, not many, many, but I have several. Um, I have my ears pierced, obviously, because that's, that's pretty common in my part of the world. cartilage pierced on one ear. 
which is also fairly common. Um, and I have my tongue pierced. Which, if you're considering a piercing that isn't your ears, but you don't know what to get, uh, I recommend getting your tongue pierced. Because honestly, it was almost completely painless and it healed really quickly <laughs> and uh yeah it's it's very good it's a really good one um i eventually eventually want to get my septum pierced because i think they're really cute and yeah so that's my uh you know laundry list of piercings, all oh, fucking three of them. And, uh, yeah. I actually answered 25 earlier, because Ark specifically asked. Um, but, uh, number 25 is tattoos. Uh, yep, I've got one tattoo. It's a Celtic Triskelion on the back of my neck. And I've been told that the back of the neck is actually one of the most painful places to get tattooed. Um, but I didn't really have any trouble. I'm like, I don't have a crazy pain tolerance or anything, it just, you know, just genuinely wasn't that bad. However, the most painful piercing that I have is definitely my upper cartilage. Um, yeah, that took a really long time to heal, and in fact, sometimes it still hurts and gets swollen, and it's very, very annoying. And if you don't get it done correctly, you can get, you know, big nasty keloids and stuff uh, from any cartilage piercings. Oh my god, how did I still get his legs on weird? His leg on. You know what, that's okay. We're just gonna we're just gonna go with it, Toppy. I'm sorry, you're just gonna be a little wonky, okay? Um Assembly of multi-part Amigurumi is definitely one of my weak suits. I am not very good at it. Um, I always struggle to get everything in place, and I know you can use sewing pins to, like, hold stuff in place, but, um, I don't know where my sewing pins are right now. <laughs> I think I have, like, two in a box somewhere. Uh, well, not somewhere, but, you know, my pin box over here. Um, because I switched to, I think they're called Wonder Clips? Or Clover Clips? Some, excuse me, something like that. Um, and I just kind of, like, put all of my, my pin pins away. Um, because I wasn't using them anymore, so I just kind of put them away. Uh, probably would have been helpful if I had <sighs> threaded the yarn onto my needle first. I know you can use sewing pins to pin it in place. I guess it wouldn't be Lily's ratchet crochet class without a little bit of ratchet. <laughs> I just realized I've been completely off camera this whole time. 
Just trying to find some good light, because there is not really much good light in my house, unfortunately. Oh my goodness, there we go. Also, I've decided that the tapir's name is going to be uh, Toppy. T-A-P-I. As kind of a nod to a comic that I'm reading. A webcomic, actually. A webtoons webcomic, specifically, called... Oh my god, what's it called? Wait. Oh my god, don't you hate when that happens? Like, it's on the tip of my tongue. Eternal Nocturnal, that's it. I'm calling him Toppy as a nod to Eternal Nocturnal by, uh, probably my favorite, uh, Webtoons artist, uh, Instant Miso. Their art is absolutely incredible. And they also wrote my very favorite webcomic of all time so far, uh, Siren's Lament. Well, Toppy's a little bit crooked. Just a little bit. But that's okay. No one's perfect. Just gonna shape his snoot a little bit. Just give it a little bit of a, a taper. <laughs> God, this is coming out so cute. <laughs> okay, so. Question number 26, what is the idea of my perfect date? Well, I think the perfect date is uh, April 25th because, you know, it's not too hot. You just need a light jacket. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, you know, I don't know. I really like dates where the date itself is like an experience. You know, like an activity that you can do together. Because the standard, like, dinner and, and a movie is, is fun. It's nice. It's great. But I prefer things like, you know, going to a museum or, like, you know, maybe going paintballing or laser tag or, hell, go-karts are good dates. So, yeah, I just, I like dates that are an experience, something that's fun for everybody. Okay, so... Sew the back legs onto the body between rounds five and seven, two stitches apart from each other. So see, that's that's good directions. The other ones were just kind of like, oh, just put it somewhere. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we're gonna put them here. Just trying to line it up with this leg so that even though he's cockeyed, at least he'll be able to stand. Just a 
stitching this one on a little bit quicker of a way than I did the other ones. Um, mostly because my hands are starting to get really tired and I kind of just want to be done. I usually would not make an entire Amigurumi project in one sitting. Um, just because I do have so many pain dis disorders. Chronic pain disorders, I mean. And uh, yeah, it hurts. Question 27, uh, can you cook? Yes, I can. I cook very well, actually. Um, it's one of the only things, probably the only thing, that I admit to being good at. Which reminds me, I have no idea what to make for dinner tonight. Hopefully my partner wants something simple, because I'm tired. <laughs> Last night, I made teriyaki chicken and rice and biscuits because we didn't have any like regular, like, you know, bread stuff. Yeah, yeah, talent. But yeah, I'm very good at cooking. That's not to say that everything I make is perfect because, you know, everybody has bad days. I also made Spam Musubi recently, and uh, that was really interesting. I know it's fairly common in Hawaii, and yeah, it was recommended by, by someone I know. Hey look, Toppy has three legs now, but he still falls over, but that's okay. He's so crooked. stitches apart. One, two. Okay. Actually, fun fact about me, uh, I considered chef as a career, um, but I fucking hate doing dishes. So I, uh, yeah, quickly gave up on that choice because I know as a chef, especially when you're starting out and you're just, you know, a grunt basically, uh, you do a lot of dishes, but uh, yeah, I hate doing dishes. on my hands specifically Excuse me, I was just... I had a hair on my nose. <laughs> and I was trying to remove it.
string.com. What do you guys think? I think he's pretty damn cute. Even without eyes. <laughs> he's a little crooked. And I haven't tucked that string in. But you know. 13 out of 10 would toppy. I'm glad to hear it. We just have a couple of steps left and then he'll be done. So, the final question on this list is, am I the jealous type? And uh, yeah, that would be a big yes. I am absolutely the jealous type. I am incredibly jealous. Um, although I've gotten much less so uh, over the years, especially the last few years. Um, but yeah. I used to be like scary, insanely jealous. And now I'm just kind of like, just a little bit jealous. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna snip this end off. Cause I'm tired. There we go. Okay, so Toppy needs a tongue and a chiropractor, you know, definitely a chiropractor. So the next step is to take our little tiny tongue and stitch it on, <coughs> excuse me, under here, under our snoot. Snout, whatever. pink yarn is like slippery it's a, it's a little strange it's pretty though it's a good color it's a good tongue color So it doesn't specify what stitch to use to attach the tongue. Um, and because it's a flat piece on the body, I'm going to use a blanket stitch just because I think it'll look nicer. <coughs> and it'll help it stay flat. One good thing about the tongue is like, even if it turns out goofy, it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna have an off-center blip if it's, if it's, uh, you know, crooked.
there's our derpy, silly, very crooked, have your done. Very cute. Yeah, I always have trouble with multi-piece constructions. There's a warp tongue. There's a little lack of tail. And yeah. Anyway, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and end it there because, well, we're done. <laughs> uh, in the future, I'll probably use my felting kit uh, when I find it to add some eyes. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for coming out and watching me create this little, little guy. He's just a little guy. And uh, yeah. Thank you once again to Chairheart for gifting a sub. And I believe, I believe that gets me up to 100 followers here on Twitch. Uh, I'm gonna have to check on that. But yeah, I believe that gives me 100 followers. And that is insane. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for coming out and watching. Uh, I hope you like Toppy. Hope you love him as much as I do. Maybe not quite as much because, you know. Yeah. But yeah, I hope you guys have a great night. Uh, don't forget, if you're not following me, follow me here on Twitch. Follow me on Twitter. And check out my new YouTube channel. Subscribe to that. Uh, all the links are in my About section here on Twitch. Uh, it's got all my social links and also my card, which, you know, has all them uh, conveniently in one place. So anyway, thanks so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for something else. <laughs> Probably a game or something, you know, something like that, something normal. <laughs> anyway, have a great night. Bye!